Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another video. And today I thought I would do a bit of a book haul and tell you about some of the books I have acquired over the last couple of months. So I had been trying to not buy very many books lately because my TBR is getting a little bit unruly. Um, however, I have managed to read quite a lot of books from my physical TBR in the last couple of months, um, including a few bigger ones and ones that have been there for a while. Um, and I have also accidentally bought quite a few books in the last few months, um, but most of these I'm intending to read pretty soon, so I thought I would tell you about them today. So we will start off with um, four books that I bought for Victober because I have already spoken about all of these in my Victober TBR so I won't carry on too much about them here. One is Charles Dickens's non-fiction work, American Notes. This is kind of a series of observations that Dickens wrote about um, his time travelling around America, I think on a book tour, um, and just his observation. I think it'll be really interesting to see what Dickens had to say about the 19th century USA, so I'm looking forward to reading this very, very soon. We also have Barry Lyndon by William Makepeace Thackeray. The only other book I've read by Thackeray is Vanity Fair, which I read 30 years ago so I'm looking forward to finally reading something else by him and hopefully I'll really enjoy this one. I don't know very much about it but I'm hoping to read it during Victober. Another book I'll be reading during Victober is Aurora Floyd by Mary Elizabeth Braddon. Um, I really enjoyed her book Lady Orderly Secret but I haven't read anything else by her since. She wrote really interesting wonderful sensation novels so I'm really looking forward to this one. And we also have here Basil by Wilkie Collins. I like Wilkie Collins quite a lot. Um, he's a little bit hit and miss for me, but I have enjoyed quite a few books I've read by him so far, so I'm looking forward to reading this one. I expect it will be another sensation novel, because that is typically what Wilkie Collins writes, um, but I think it should be a really interesting read and a bit of a shorter one too. So again, looking forward to getting to this in Victober. And then I do have another Victorian book. This wasn't on my Victober TBR, but I bought it um, in June September, and I'm hoping to slip it into Victober because it is very thin, and that is The Frozen Deep by Wilkie Collins. This is a novella. It's 101 pages according to the front of the book, um, so I'm sure I can find somewhere to slip this into Victober, hopefully, because um, I think it would be nice to read, and I've got a lot of books on my Kindle for Victober, so it is nice to have another physical thing. In September I went to some independent bookshops for the first time in months, um, and so I did pick up a couple of things, including this, um, and I thought it would be nice to buy something for Victober, so I'm hoping to squeeze this in. It is very short. I don't know too much about it, but I have heard of it before. I feel like there was a play of the Frozen Deep as well made from the novella which Dickens and Wilkie Collins wrote together but I can't remember if that's actually true um, but either way um, I think this should be an interesting read and I, I gather it'll be about a shipwreck perhaps. I have just read a bit of the back but not all of it because I hate being spoiled for classics and it was originally written as a stage play by Dickens and Wilkie Collins and then Wilkie Collins wrote a novella version of it I think. Then recently I also bought Irisema by Zoje Jalankar. This is a Brazilian novella from 1865 that I know very little about but have had recommended to me. One of my goals, of my many reading goals for this year, is to read um, more international classics and specifically the three countries they picked out for this year to focus on were Brazil, France and Japan. And I've only managed to read two Brazilian classics so far this year so um, I thought I would buy this one to make sure I read a little bit more um, this year. Like I said, I don't know too much about this but it's a 19th century Brazilian novel and I've had it recommended a few times so I think it'll be a really interesting read and hopefully I'll get to it before the end of the year because it's not very long either. Again while looking around independent bookshops I picked up this. This is A Good Man is Hard to Find by Flannery O'Connor. This is just a very little short story. I've heard quite a lot about Flannery O'Connor before but I haven't read any of her work so I thought this might be an interesting place to start with just one of her short stories. Flannery O'Connor is an American 20th century writer and this is a short story from 1953 so I'm looking forward to reading this one um, and this is the kind of thing that um, they always have at the tills at shops and it's always quite nice to pick up something little at the end of a little trip around a bookshop. Um, I really enjoy walking around bookshops and buying random things that I didn't plan to buy which is something I do very very rarely so it was nice to do a bit of that in September. Another thing I picked up while bookshopping which I wasn't expecting to buy was this. This is The Cat Who Saved Books by Sosuke Natsukawa. This is a contemporary Japanese novel. Um, I've read quite a few Japanese classics this year but I haven't actually read much um, contemporary Japanese literature which is a shame because I really enjoy contemporary Japanese 
Japanese literature in translation. So I think this should be a really interesting read. And again, it's really short, so I'm hoping I'll manage to get to it before, before the end of the year. So I believe this is a story about a young man um, who inherits a bookshop from his grandfather and thinks he's going to have to close it down. And then there's a tabby cat in the bookshop that starts talking to him, apparently. Don't know what else happens after that, but it sounds like an intriguing read. I'm sure it'll be bookish and the cover is very, very beautiful. So looking forward to reading this. Then I was also recently sent one review copy. This is The Gifts by Liz Hyder. This book is coming out in February 2022. And I've actually read this before. So this is being published by Manila Press, who very kindly sent me a proof copy. I used to work um, for Bonnier Books UK. Manila Press is an imprint of Bonnier Books UK. I used to work at Manila Press. Um, and I worked on The Gifts. I read it on submission when it first came in like 18 months ago. And then I have read bits of it while I was working at Bonnier. Um, but I didn't, I haven't read it all the way through for like a year and a half um, and it has been changed since then. So I'm really, really looking forward to rereading this properly all the way through in its final form um, very soon, I hope. This comes out in February 2022, as I said, and this is very much my kind of book and very much your kind of book too, I think, if you watch this channel. This is a book set in the Victorian period in 1840 and, and follows what happens when rumours of a fallen angel um, or a woman who seems to have wings starts circulating in London and everything goes on from there. We're following lots of different characters um, and how they all kind of link together in a beautifully Victorian way. I think if you enjoyed Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield or The Doll Factory by Elizabeth McNeil, I think you'll really, really love The Gifts. It is, it is so good, guys. It is wonderful. I feel like this one is very, very much a booktube book and, and I can't wait for other people to start reading it because I think, I think a lot of you will love it. So I'm very excited to reread this slash read it in its final form for the first time. Bit of a weird thing when you've worked on a book and then you read it again afterwards, um, but I'm sure I will get to this soon. I'd like to reread it before February so I can fully rave about it on this channel because it is genuinely such a wonderful, fantastic book and so up my street that I think if you enjoy this channel, you'll you'll love this one. You really will. It's so good, guys. It's so good. And finally, I have one non-fiction book, which I bought recently. Um, I actually pre-ordered this ages ago because it sounded very interesting. This is quite an academic book and probably a fairly specific interest, but I think this is one um, that I will find really, really interesting. This is Plotting Disability in the 19th Century Novel um, by Claire walker Gore. So this is all about um, disability in 19th century literature, which is something that I find quite interesting. I did make a video on it ages ago, which I will link down below. Um, and it's just something I find quite interesting in Victorian literature. And I haven't read much like academic writing about it before, so I thought this would be a really interesting read. And um, it came out in hardback last year, I think, and it's literally just kind of in paperback. I'm hoping I would have read most of the books that it talks about, but it does mention on the back that it talks about work by Charlotte um, Young, who wrote The Heir of Redcliffe, which I'm hoping to read in October. And I know that book has a a character with a disability in. So I'm hoping that once I've read that, that will also be useful before I read this, because I think this should be a really interesting read and I'm hoping to read it in November this year for nonfiction November. And I think it will just tie in with a lot of my kind of academic interest in Victorian literature, I suppose. So really looking forward to this. I think it should be a really interesting read. And that's it. Those are the books that I have acquired lately. Adding more things to my physical TBR than perhaps I should be, but that is fine. I'm hoping I will get through most of these very soon. Um, and I'm really looking forward to all of them. So that's it for now. Please do let me know if you've read any of these books and what you've thought of them. And I'll be back very soon with another bookish video.